So as many of you have been watching at the top of national news for maybe the last month, it's the conflict in Israel that has been going on that involves Hamas and what's happening in Israel, but also now in the last couple of weeks, Hezbollah, which is funded by Iran, has been a part of what has been a very bloody uh, exchange there in Israel. And I wanted to get Colonel David Kuvion's perspective, retired U.S. Marines, and was very involved in Iraq after uh, 9-11 and including the recent aftermath of the fall of Baghdad. What is your perspective on this? Well, I want to make a real quick point. You said Hezbollah was funded by Iran. Hamas is also funded by Iran, uh -huh. as well as Islamic Jihad, <clears throat> ISIS, and um, uh, there's, a, there's a new I Iraqi uh, fundamentalist group that is moving into the area as well that it, and this is all this is really all coordinated by Iran why their stated goal it's has been Israel and continues yeah. to be to wipe Israel off the map right. and however they're going to do that uh, Hamas is um, Sunni mm -hmm. and Iran is Shia yeah uh, but the enemy, my, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, and mm -hmm. they are coordinating with this, and they're coordinating the thing. Once uh, Hamas attacked Israel, Iran called, and Hamas, called for all other Arab nations and organizations to jump in with them and, and bring the fight to Israel. So it, this is a, this could erupt into a global area, yeah. but it is primarily focused on taking Israel off the map. And they are, they have, um, the coordination they have done has been fabulous. The information propaganda that they've put out has been fabulous. They have really got people who see Israel as, a, as the enemy in, in the Islamic, Islamic fundamentalist world worked up, worked up over this. And this is, gonna, <coughs> this is not gonna be a short term thing. This is gonna, this is gonna take a while. It's one of the, one of the most horrible things to watch. Um, there, was a, there was an official with Hamas who was on Russian television who boasted a couple of weeks ago and said, we've been planning this for two years, that while they thought we were just governing, Correct. we were planning this attack, we were building towards this war. And then you see the nature of some of these attacks, bombing hospitals, and public centers where families are. For me, now you give me your perspective on this because you've got the history there and, and, the, and the, 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 the credibility. I would think that that would gin up more support against you because you're not attacking military operatives. You're not going after military areas. You're attacking public centers, which will likely draw more sympathy and involvement from other countries outside of your partnerships there. Am I wrong? You're making a fundamental <clears throat> mistake. Okay. And thinking that other people think and act like you do. Okay. And have the same values as you do. Okay. They don't. Okay. They're different. War means fighting. Fighting means killing. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're going to do. This is war. And they are bringing wholesale war. General Sherman marching through Georgia. Yeah. They are wiped. They are going to wipe out, and that's what they're going to try to take. Do now. Conversely, Israel is going to probably take the same method coming back. Yeah. And it it, it is going to be total war. Is that why the president is urging Israel to abide by the quote unquote rules of engagement? Yes, they <coughs> are. They are doing that. But and and I I personally I've always had a problem with rules of engagement. Uh, if you're going to fight a war, you fight a war to win. You don't fight a war to be um, kind to the other side. Yeah. You're not going to do that. You're going to think. And, and again, remember the stated purpose is to wipe out Israel. Israel is not going to stand for that. No. They will fight back with everything they have. Yep. They will not give up the image of Masada. Yeah. Are you familiar? Yeah. The image of Masada stands. Yeah. And the men and women of Israel fighting forces will live up to that oath that they take that they will never give up. Okay, I've got, I've got a minute left. I'm, I'm gonna ask, um, uh, how much time do we have? Well, it's almost 30 seconds. Okay, all right, quickly here. Will this require our involvement? It's gonna require our involvement as much as arms and ammunition will, yeah. will be. But no and boots for, on the ground. I, I, I don't think so. That's not to say we have, we, we've done that before that yeah. we said we're not gonna be boots on the ground and yeah. we have. Yeah. The humanitarian issue is a different, 
different thing. Okay. And but even getting into humanitarian issue, you make yourself a target for the other side to draw you into the war. I want to. Um, it, it could be as soon as next week, but I, I want to get you back because there's more about this that I want to be able to talk about because more and more people are are concerned. Again, it's not going away. Wow. All right, uh, Colonel David Kuvion, we will try to get him back as soon as maybe next week to talk with us about this. Up next, Pat's Coats for Kids is a legendary thing that we're a part of. Pat Shingleton is here to talk about that next.